if we kick off and just talk about remortgage uh, volumes, do you, do you feel those have peaked now, that all those people that were planning to take advantage of lower rates have, have done so? You know, I think there's a lot more out there. You know, really, 30-year fixed rates are in the twos. So if you think about it that way, anyone that's not in the twos, 275, 2875, should be talking to a mortgage broker. So I think there's a lot more people. I think we did an analysis and think about 85% of the market right now still is in the money to refinance, which means they could save 50 basis points or more by refinancing. So I think there's a lot more opportunity out there for people to save money. And, and in terms of all of the uh, refinancing activity you've seen, are people switching to fixed rates or sticking on floating? And, and to what extent uh, could we be building up a couple of problems, a couple of pressure points on uh, consumers' balance sheets uh, in a couple of years' time if, if rates rise? You know, honestly, I think it's almost 99 percent. I mean, some huge amount of fixed rate mortgages. When fixed rate mortgages are, uh, start with a two, 30 year fix in the two, people aren't looking. The 15 year fix could be in the low twos, even high ones. I mean, rates are so low that I think there's very, very, very few adjustable rate mortgage, which actually is good for all of us because there won't be that problem in two, four, six, seven years, whatever it may be. And in terms of new purchases uh, of, of homes, are you still seeing some of the same trends we saw early in the year, people moving away from urban centers? Yeah, we are seeing that trend. I mean, home means more to people now than maybe it did a year ago at this time based on the pandemic and everything we've all gone through. And so we are seeing some people move out of the city, but we are seeing people really, they're spending more time in their homes. So things such as home improvement and doing things in their house matter more now than ever before. And in terms of uh, loan to values, what, what are we talking about? Are they uh, at levels that, that are, any, any concerns that when you assess uh, the levels of loan to value? You know, to, to credit, you know, FHFA and Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, I mean, the rules are pretty strict in making sure that people are getting appraisals, people are qualified, and there's enough equity. So there's not, there's not 110 LTV loans like there was back in the financial crisis. Things are done the right way from the CFPB all the way through. And so there, there's really not much concern. Appreciation has been going up still. And there's not like cash out loans, cash out mortgage loans to 90 LTVs or 100 LTVs. It's very uncommon right now. It's usually below 80 LTV. But to buy a house, you can put 3%, 5%, 10% down. That's still very uh, uh, viable right now um, but the cash out stuff that caused a lot of issues in the past are not there right now and, and then Matt just finally regionally uh, are there any uh, areas that are, uh, seem overheated to you or, or particularly weak still you know, it seems like it's pretty steady across the board. Obviously, it's, you know, this time of year, it's cold in the north, so purchases usually slow down. But we've actually seen it not slow down as much, maybe because of some pent-up demand from the slower summer because of the pandemic. But, you know, it really seems like some areas are growing at 5%, 6%, some are a little slower. But it, there's, there's no negative. And because of the affordable affordability, because rates are so low, people are really buying homes and people are looking to find a mortgage broker and get great deals. It's really been an interesting market this year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.